What's up guys, kuhj 2000 here, and welcome back to part 4 of Let's Play Halo Reach. Last time we started this mission, we got in the Falcon, and this time we're gonna finish this mission. Hopefully move on to the next one. Next one is really cool, so I can't wait for that. We have to use this grenade launcher at this part, it's mandatory. Okay. So what are we aiming at? Are those wraiths or something? Or are they turrets? What are they? You know, I really like the music in this game. They they definitely uh went back and kind of changed the theme since the original trilogy. They recorded some like new music for it. It's really good. And then I know they really made new music when it came time for Halo 4. Alright, so we have to go in this force field, which uh, kills our engine and brings us down. Lift your armor, Spartan! Break for a hard landing! See, now, if I was in that, I'd be dead if not have all my arms, all two of my arms, that is, cut up. Crew's dead. We shouldn't stay here. All right. Yeah, so we got a lot of enemies according to George. Let's uh try to stay towards the side here. Yeah, jump around like that little bitch. And we can't get in that pipe because my aim sucks. Okay, what's shoot? Ah, you're just a grunt. Screw you. All right, let's also, just run. Get the hell off this rock before I throw you off. Noble get the hell off this rock before I throw you off. Um, okay. Let's just get up here. I love this thing. Twirling around like this, it looks so cool. All right. Six is on his way up. Get in there. Take out that shield, Lieutenant. Spark. I'm in whoa, whoa, power. what is that? We'll pick you up as soon as you knock out power to that Oh, that's shield. a... Oh, crap. Aw. Uh, that is a guy with an energy sword. Not good. Not good, not good, not good. Oh, God. Who's there? I'm just gonna hang back here. Let my stuff recharge. Point being, I really do not want to die on easy. That would really show a lot about my poor character. Alright, I think that's the end of the mission if I'm right. Get us out of here. Control. This is Noble One. Spire One is green and you're free to engage. Have a nice day. Copy that, Noble One. Be advised, all ground units. Frigate 318 Heavy is inbound, and MAC rounds have been authorized. MAC round? In atmosphere? One way to get their attention. Hang on to your teeth, people. Somebody tell me this ain't happening. UNSC frigate Grafton, do you copy? Grafton is dust. We need to get out of here now. My 
god, is that a big ship. So, this is what we're up against. So, next mission, at least I think it's this one. Our foe is more devious than we imagined. That spire was indeed a teleporter linked to a cloaked Covenant supercarrier, a grave threat. Thankfully, help is imminent. 60% of the UNSC fleet is en route to reach from existing deployments. The first battle group should arrive within 48 uh. hours. 48 hours? That's imminent? Uh-oh. Who's your money on this time? Her. You always pick her. Hmm. She's always had him dialed in. That thing's crushing us and we're waiting for backup. They'll be backing up a graveyard. All our nukes are either out system or went down with the ships that carry them. You're preaching to the converted. How converted? I know that look, Kat. You can say no. No. You don't even want to hear it? Fine, I'll hear it. Remember that accident a couple of years back? Colony ship en route to Cygnus, 700 dead. Vaguely a slip space drive malfunction, right? Actually, it worked fine. The drive was mounted improperly after a service haulout. When it fired, it teleported half the ship to oblivion. None of this is relevant. How? A certain Covenant supercarrier could, with some assistance, suffer the same unfortunate accident. Even for you, Cat, that's... Inspired? Not the word I would use. What's going on? Go ahead. Explain. May I? Don't cut yourself. Objective, destroy Covenant Carry and geosynchronous orbit above us. This sanctions, sir. What do you think? Oh. Method, a slip space drive in lieu of the nukes we don't have. Delivery system, us. Solvable, getting us up there. That and getting our hands on a slip space drive. Thank you for sharing. So, all we need is orbit-capable transport and the single most expensive piece of equipment made by man. As a soldier in the field, I couldn't possibly have access to those kinds of resources. That said, a good place to look might be, I don't know, the nearest non-existent launch site in the non-existent Sabre program dismissed by three administrations as preposterous rumor, and in which our newest member was certainly never a pilot. You're scary, you know that. All we need is a green light from Holland. Good luck with that. You're the one asking him. Well, there's no way in hell he's gonna go for this. to the launch facility. Any closer is too hot to land. Copy that, Commander. Move up the beach, Noble. And it's about time we get back to gameplay. So we have to go up into space and activate a slip space drive in the giant ship that we saw earlier. If you go, like, right at the edge of the ocean here, not like totally in it, but at the edge, you can uh, miss a lot of the Covenant, which is good in our case. God, I wish a sprint was unlimited. That's ridiculous if it's not. They got it right in Halo 4, that's for sure. I like the rock theme playing, that's awesome. Wish it was louder, but then I'd probably get flagged for copyright. Now, nah, wouldn't I? Alright, which way? Is it this way, I think? Yes. 
then we want this. And we managed to get behind them. Oh god. Okay. Ah, we're in. Way. Let's get that Saber airborne before he changes his mind. We got a raid from the lower platform! Controls right through that door, Commander. Oh, come on! I was totally behind him. Wow. Even for not practicing this, it's going a lot better than I thought it would. Ah, I was right. Launch team. Saber is prepped and ready George, to launch. Okay. Get to the saber and, and by the way, this whole place we'll down here that I'm aiming at, that's another multiplayer map. I'd be scared as hell to go up in this thing. For me, this would be like going on a roller coaster only like a hundred times worse. And believe me, I don't do well with roller coasters. Actually, if anybody's, uh, if anybody watches Red vs. Blue, the Rooster Teeth show, there's what there's like a short that they did. There's a short video that they did not related to the main storyline. It was Caboose Visits the Halo Reach campaign. That was like one of the funniest videos that they've ever done. At least for Red vs. Blue. If, if you haven't seen Caboose Visits the Halo Reach campaign, go watch it. It's hilarious. A lot of the parts are taken from this level. Okay, so let me see if I can remember how to control this thing. Again, like I said, I haven't practiced, so looks like uh, left trigger to boost, right thumbstick to move around. Ah, and my mom is making dinner right now in the kitchen, and I can smell it from right here. Whoa, what happened? Oh my god. What happened? What just happened? No, seriously, what just happened? It just killed me. Welcome to Operation Uppercut. I'll be your control from here on out. Understood, Colonel. Double six. These sabers have been customized for orbital defense. You may need to get reacquainted. Wonderful at Anchor 9 with Frigate Savannah and the other sabers as soon as you're ready. Call it down. Yes, I know how to control it. I'm still in awe. What happened? Okay. Now that we've tested everything out, why toggles between... Okay. And that's good to know. Alright. I think I'm good to go. Savannah Actual to Sabre Teams. Be advised, we have bogeys inbound. 
Anchor 9 to all UNSC ships. Station defenses are down. Requesting combat support until we can bring them back online. Here we go, Six. Show them what you can do. Well, if we'd have uh, any enemies, I would. All right. Good shot. Defensive batteries are at 56%. Hang in there, Saber teams. I am uh, not comfortable being this uh, close in the middle of everything, so I'm going to move back. A good place to hide behind if your shield gets low is uh, behind the thing we're trying to defend. All right, need to know where some enemies are. Let's change some missiles, actually. Seems like that has more... It has more the ability to aim. There we go. Thank you. Okay. Not really a whole lot to say in this part. It's just taking out banshees. Thank you. These guys. Well, these guys have shields. And those shields are only vulnerable to cannon fire, so we can't use missiles, which can aim better. Alright, and one more left, I think. So now the Anchor 9 can defend for itself. Is there any place the Covenant isn't? Anchor 9 to all UNSC ships. Station defenses are back online. Good. Clear the lane. We'll light them up. Which means I can go and hide behind you and be fine. Oh, crap. Well, good thing I decided that I wanted to hide behind here. Alright, what's going on out here? What do we have? Another Seraph? Come on! Why can't I hit him? There we go. There we go. And this is a Banshee, so he's nothing to worry about. And I know my commentary at this point is very boring, but there's really nothing to talk about now. There probably will be once we get inside. Or, oops, spoiler. Once we uh, get to the next part of the mission. I'm trying to keep it spoiler free only for those of you who haven't ever played the game before and are looking at this LP as a, you know, way to see the story because you can't play it for yourself. Oh crap, what the hell is shooting me? 
Oh, it's a Seraph? Ah, oh, we'll take him. Don't tell me he's behind the damn thing. Alright, there's a Seraph. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Come on. How many shots do you take? Enemy fighter down. Anchor 9 to Sabre teams. Phantom signatures detected on a forward facing vector. Alright. Wait, what is there? What did they just say? Oh god, phantoms. Oh, that's good. At least I know where they are. I'm just gonna finish this, uh, finish the fight here, and then gonna end the part. Come on, die already. Yeah, I know. Oh no. Gunboats are in position. Damage control teams at the ready. Torpedo launch detected. Shoot it down. Got one. I can't say no luck. Isn't the Anchor 9 supposed to have its own defense? Where the hell is that at? Why are you making me do everything? Ah, there's one down. There's another down. Oh god, my shields are at 47%. Not good. Nope. Gotta go and hide. Better shake that bogey, six. Well, at least I got a checkpoint, so I won't have to do everything over again if I die. Six. You need to shake that bow weapon spring. Need to shake the what? Shake my ass? No, sir. All right, there's another down. What are you shooting at? Oh, come on. Just let me be over with this already. Anchor Niner to UNSC ships. All targets neutralized. Bravo 0 2 Niner, you are clear to dock. Activating marker. Holland to Bravo 0 2 Niner. Noble 5, you ready to go? Affirmative, sir. Okay, and now we just need to dock. There will be a cutscene, and then I'm going to end the part there, even though the level's not over yet. I'm out here, 6. Warning, M-Spec re-entry pack disengaged. I need your override. Warning, M-Spec re-entry. Cockpit depressurization complete. Canopy release lever armed. Please repeat. Pull up surface grid 19 by 22. Gladly. Only sword race, set to 18G. Verbal enhance. Noble 5, your pulse is elevated. There is nothing you can do for Dr. Halsey and the others inside sword base. The mathematics are determinate. Noble 5? Understood, Colonel. As she's already donated her slip space drive to the cause, Savannah will be joining you to provide local fire support. 
UNSC Savannah. Our wings may be clipped, but we've got your back. I've stuck my neck out for Noble on this one, Lieutenant. We'll get it done, Colonel. Six out. We have visual. Target confirmed. Alright, that'll do it for part, what is this, four I think? Yeah, part four. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And next time we will try to get that slip space drive onto the Corvette ship. So until part five, peace out.